Hello, this is a video on utility functions that describe consumer preferences where the consumer views both goods as perfect substitutes of each other. Real life examples could be Pepsi versus Coke or butter versus margarine. The main result of this substitutability is that the rate at which one item is willingly given up for another item in order to maintain the same level of utility is constant. In other words, the modular rate of substitution is constant. This video aims to briefly cover perfect substitute utility functions. This is the general equation for consumer utility where the consumer is faced with two substitute goods, x and y. Utility is equal to open brackets ax plus by close brackets to the power of c. Note a, b, and c have constants and note that x or y can be zero because utility could still be positive. For example, the consumer may consume only good X and not good Y. Finally, C is typically equal to 1, but that's not necessary. The example that we will be working with is utility is equal to 2X plus 3Y. Here is our example again. What does the indifference curve look like? Firstly, recall that since x or y can be 0, the indifference curve will have x and y intercepts. Secondly, what is the sign of the slope? We can tell the sign just by looking at the equation. Suppose the consumer is currently preferring bundle A, and this is a point on the consumer's indifference curve. If the amount consumed of good x were to increase, then the consumption of good y must decrease in order for the utility to be maintained. Therefore, an equally preferred bundle might be point B. The indifference curve is negative. But is it a straight line or is it an actual curve? That depends on the curvature. Let's calculate the slope. There are two ways to do this and I want to quickly show both ways. One is to note that for any particular indifference curve, the utility is a given constant amount. We can write the equation as 2x plus 3y equals utility u. Solving for y, we get y equals minus 2x over 3 plus u over 3. And then recalling the general formula for a straight line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, we can see that the coefficient in our case is negative 2 over 3. Another way to calculate the slope is to use the utility function. We know that slope is equal to rise over run, which is change in y over change in x. This is equal to change in u divided by change in x, which is the marginal utility with respect to x, times that by change in y over change in u, where that piece is 1 over the marginal utility of y. Therefore, the slope is marginal utility of x divided by the marginal utility of y. So what is mux? It is the derivative of utility with respect to x. So that's just going to be 2. And muy is the derivative of u with respect to y, and that is just 3. So 2 over 3 is the MRS. Note how the MRS is constant. In other words, the slope is constant. The indifference curve is a straight line. The y-intercept can be determined by setting x equals 0 in the utility function and solving for y, and vice versa for the x-intercept. Note what the MRS of 2 over 3 actually means from an economic perspective. The consumer is willingly giving up for two-thirds units of good y for each additional unit of good x, and this exchange rate maintains the consumer's utility. Importantly, this amount of two-thirds is constant for all amounts of consumption. This should make sense. If the consumer doesn't view the two goods to be any different, then they would always give up the same amount of one to get another. The consumer wouldn't feel that they have had too much of one good or not enough of the other, in which case the MRS would be changing. Finally, due to the constant MRS, another result is that the consumer's utility depends on the total of both goods rather than the amount of consumption in each good. This is a summary of our results. Note that the number 2 in the MRS value of 2 thirds 
comes from the coefficient of x in the utility function. The number 3 is from the coefficient of y in the utility function. This is the MRS for any general perfect substitutes utility function.